Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Uh, this is another Abacus tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model uh, lead rubber bearing isolation. So this is this device is quite uh, um, effective for the earthquake protection and uh, mostly used in uh, China, uh, Japan, also United States. For those country which is uh, prone to the earthquake region, and this. Uh, this device is actually constructed from uh, three parts. So one is the top and bottom uh, layer. So the top bottom is actually uh, one is a uh, anchor to the bottom of foundation or column, or a short column. And the, the other side is also in the top column. And we have this part is also have a sort of attaching, uh, attaching which creating uh, the lead rubber is inside and then we want to create a sort of device or system. So the need the lead rubber should be from this top to here. <clears throat> and then we need a, a very strong or stiffness steel that rubber sh uh, that uh, lead should be uh, deformed in that area. So we need this kind of things. And inside is the layers which is combined steel and uh, steel and rubber. This blue is lo uh, rubber and uh, 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 why it is actually steel. So it is depending to the manufacturing and also depending to your project. Uh, in case if your project is uh, a, a mid-price building or a hospital, so you need uh, two, three uh, things. So one is the total weight of the column comes to the, this rubber bearing, which we should uh, uh, find a device or determine the device that can bear that amount of uh, actual load. And the second is the maximum displacement or allowable displacement in your structure. So we can uh, go to the part. And this is and the first part and the sizes you can uh, see. This is the size. If I go to measure and it's 300. So the total diameter is about uh, 600 millimeter. And uh, the thickness of that plate you can uh, use one of the uh, from, you can choose from from the manufacturing companies or some catalogs and you can get a proper one and you can uh, model like this so this one you can use uh, uh, revolve So revolve, this is it. Yeah, we use revolve solid. And the next part is also uh, lead core. So this is the lead core. Uh, the same using uh, revolve meters, 75 with 150 millimeter diameter. So the height is, so if I go to here, you can, uh, this is the height is 188. So you can uh, select your project as well. So I'm going to, Revolve this and by using 360, okay, and like this. And now uh, we used this layer uh, loading plates with the top and fixed piece. Uh, this is the size, and you can use this method. First, create this side and then uh, revolve, and then using the extrude. Uh, 140 and 25 uh, after that you can use the same solid level and then you can use uh, this one uh, create extrude so you can extrude the uh, lead parts and the last one the last one is the rubber layer and the rubber layer because we have inside uh, of the rubber we have leading so lead so then, then we use uh, cat uh, the same using solid and you can see 145 millimeter thickness of the rubber so this is also finished and the last one is the steel layer so the steel layer we use five millimeter uh, rubber and we can check this is one millimeter i think or two millimeter steel this is two millimeter steel so very thick two millimeter is very thick and we put one and accumulate one to one again one rubber one steel and then like this 
So this is uh, the same size and uh, then we uh, finished and uh, we go to the properties we have two kind of material three kind of material when we have steel and uh, when we have a lead and we have rubber so for the steel and the top plate bottom plate using this steel material you can use your the manufactured steel which is galvanized high strength material and the second is rubber it is called hyper elastic materials you can come to the mechanical and from the here and you can select hyper elastic so hyper elastic you can see here we have two three kind of uh, model uh, so i used the uh, aruda foils and you can check with the manufacturing uh, or create uh, factory rubber and then it will give you the properties in case if you don't have you can use this uh, property yes that's all and uh, okay and we can go to use the lead so lead is very uh, ductile material with uh, with very uh, less uh, yield strength, so 90.8. Uh, then you can create the section. We, we have three section: lead, solid, and a rubber. And then you assign them to the. Uh, this is plate, steel plate, and you can go to the rubber, and it's a rubber, and you can go to lead and use the lead. So then you can assemble them and you can bring one by one. Uh, just first you can put the top and then uh, adding the second one. Uh, the second one then put again, again, again. Like this you can then using a linear pattern and you can create this assembly. It's not difficult. And now we have a uh, step. In this step you can uh, consider uh, a dynamic analysis as well you can consider the elastic uh, static analysis as well so i want to use uh, static the, pro the problem is not too difficult uh, and it's uh, uh, with a large displacement you can solve it so fast by using uh, static so the first i created a static step i want to apply the gravity loop so that means the uh, upper story weight it comes to this structure and I use this 0.1 initial and maximum 0.1. So slowly the load is applied in uh, because in some time we should create use jack and from the existing structure to move the top floors and then releasing the loads and it will work. And the second is we want to create a time history uh, 90 seconds so making about to move slowly this side and this side and 90 second and then we want to create some uh, is this is output so we have energy sufficient so we don't need it in case if you want you can see yeah but you should see the energy distribution but one uh, we can uh, go to the load so interaction interaction so i want to show you how you can create the interaction you can go to here and create find contacts so all the contact is created surface to surface and then you can consider a uh, cohesive element or some interaction give some interaction properties or even you can give uh, make him tie so there is no deformation uh, inside the inside these uh, layers 89 and the entire surface is uh, the connection is such as example you can see this one to the top surface and this is not correct so because I giving very large and you can give zero and you can find again if I go to ask show previous one it show me the previous one so this is the previous one which I use tie connection uh, like this now uh, we go to the uh, one more thing here i want to create a multi-constraint point in this point so uh, it is a multi-constraint point so i want to apply the load here you can use coupling or anything else uh, taking this point and now next we go to the loading 
in the loading uh, we want to fix this bottom that means in the bottom foundation and that top is applying load so in that we have not we don't have structure so we are adding uh, load instead of the structure and this is the gravity load we used this amount about uh, 600 or se almost 700 kilometer and this is the uh, we created this a fixed boundary condition in the bottom and also we create the displacement here so the top structure totally during an earthquake is doing it like this so we created this one in I used X and it means 50 millimeter displacement and also we have a time history uh, amplitude let me check the amplitude so this amplitude is uh, Amplitude 1, which goes 0, and again going to uh, 1, to minus 1, positive and 1. So that is totally one circle. And totally one circle. And then the second one, what is the second one? So the second one is uh, almost two, three circle. So the first one is 1, and again in 2 and 3. So that total become 150. So if I give 50, so then it becomes 30. Uh, we can use this one. So the finally, you can go to mesh it. Uh, you can go to mesh. You can give mesh, and you should select the uh, the rubber. This is the rubber. When you come to here, assign. Yeah, here you should use called uh, hybrid formula. So if you didn't give hybrid formula, so that means the program will abort it or you will not see the results and next we go to the job and submit the job so the job is already completed uh, just we can go to see the result and monitor and job is completed the first one second one i use two uh, two amplitude you can okay and submit it again can check monitor and if there is any error so there is no error yet uh, we should wait until the analysis is completed uh, now the analysis is completed we can go to the see the result and this is the result after four uh, second this is the displacement uh, let me do a uh, animation so this is the animation which the first step is uh, the uh, gravity load the second going to right and then left side so totally one circle okay okay that's it so what we're gonna do is we want to um, create the output uh, we couldn't define now, now I'm going to define it here I'm going to select uh, output uh, here I want to use unique nodal and I'm going to this area here was node set it's called control point which is the top one you can see it here and it's uh, highlighted I'm gonna plot it but I should uh, select which parameter you want to get from that point. So I'm going to get U1 because we did apply displacement and also the reaction force in the U1. Now I can say plot. Now the plot is created uh, because it uh, has a lot of uh, large steps, so we need to uh, create it, this data. And now this is the curve. This is the curve. Uh, one is uh, X, Y, Z. I'm gonna going to use a combination uh, that uh, uh, U one should be in an X and Y should be in the P. I'm gonna save this as uh, is Terry says curve. Back to here and plot it. So this is the curve which we already created here, so which we already created here. 
so now we can export this data as excel and i think it's almost 500 uh, kilonewton capacity in a shear and a maximum displacement 150 uh, so this is the uh, how we work with uh, this isolation especially let uh, rubber bearing isolation so like this if you're interested and if you think it's value to see more videos like this you can subscribe my channel and share with your friend and in case if you have a question put in the comment and therefore and i will find time to answer you see you next time